Most holy name of our God Almighty be magnified. Greetings to all my listeners in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For today's devotion, let us open our Bibles to Psalm 86 and we will have the devotion starting from verses 14 onwards. The topic is A Changed Heart, A Changed Life. This psalm is a prayer of David when he was in imminent danger. Proud people and violent people are against him. They don't fear the Lord God Almighty, but he says that he comforts in the Lord, in his attributes, for strength and deliverance from this danger. In verse 15 he says, The God, full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth, he is the one whom he is finding his comfort in. Therefore, in verse 16, we see that David is humbling himself before this great God, crying for the Lord's mercy, strength and deliverance from the enemies. In verse 17, he is even asking for a definite sign so that his enemies will realize that they were wrong and they will be ashamed and that ultimately the Lord should be glorified before the very eyes of his enemies. The enemies should learn that it is the Lord God, Jehovah, who has delivered David and comforted him during his dangerous time. Dear my sisters, very sincere cry from the heart of a believer who is in need of help from the Lord. No other help but only in the Lord. We should come to our Lord Jesus Christ just like a child, crying like a child who needs help from his father. A child of God should always be turning to the one whom he totally believes and trusts. That is none but our Lord Jesus. The Lord God heard David's humble prayer. As he started his prayer, by acknowledging himself as poor and needy. We read in verse 1, Bow down thine ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. In Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 3, our Lord Jesus says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for this is the kingdom of heaven. School of suffering teaches us to see and acknowledge our poverty and helpless state. We need to be poor and needy spiritually, so we long to grow spiritually to get out of spiritual poverty. David has had made serious mistakes and sins in the past. He went very far and down to spiritual poverty and helplessness by committing adultery and premeditated murder. He became utterly poor and needy in the sight of God and was broken and contrite in spirit before God. Dear my listeners, the key to get mercy from God is to accept our spiritual poverty and our need for spiritual growth. David humbly repented of his sin and he turned to God. God forgave him. If we go back to verse 12, we can read that David continues to pray to teach him to unite his heart, to fear God, so that he would be kept from being proud and commit sin again. This should be our prayer too. Pray that God would humble us. God would keep us from being proud people. In Old Testament, we read about kings and prophets who became victims of pride. Many suffered because of that. 
when we think of worst and weak moments in our lives we can clearly see how bad we are who we really are we are nothing but filthy rags nothing good in us we are in great poverty we are needy creatures unless the lord helps us we are going to perish that is how low we should come down before the holy god almighty when we come to his presence in prayer we have nothing we are empty but that emptiness we should not fill with our pride we should fill our emptiness with the lord and things of god then our lord shall hear our prayers and bless us according to his plan and purpose pray that our lord jesus christ would open the eyes of our heart to see our weakness and come to him in all humility and repentance and may we each one of us come out from the presence of god not as the person that i used to be but as the person that god wants to see me with a changed heart and a changed life amen